Drake Bell got in trouble for acts with and was set up for a big punishment. We'll break it down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number four, the charges themselves. So let's get to the matter of what he was charged with and how that all came about. Drake Bell has been under fire for certain things in the last year or so, and back in July he was in court and originally pleaded not guilty to Mr. charges of attempted endangerment and disseminating matter harmful to juveniles. Both charges stem from alleged incidents that happened in Cleveland, Ohio in 2017. Hi, I'm Drake Bell, not Drake Campana. So Drake Bell, no soy Drake Campana. A lot of the news that you've been hearing, well, most of the news that you've Heard recently. According to a statement from the Cuyahoga County Prosecutor's Office, in October 2018, a 15-year-old child in the case filed a report with her local police department in Canada about an alleged incident that took place between her and Bell the previous year at a Cleveland nightclub. Canadian authorities contacted the Cleveland Division of Police, who conducted an investigation. The statement said, That investigation revealed that the victim, who had established a relationship with Bell several years prior, attended his concert in December 2017. While at the concert, Bell allegedly violated his duty of care, and in doing so created a risk of harm to the victim, prosecutors said. Bell also allegedly sent the victim inappropriate social media messages, according to investigators. It is entirely false and wrong, and I, uh, I feel that you deserve and I owe you an explanation. I didn't change my name. So as you can see, this was a serious matter, and one that many people wanted to see a true punishment for due to what was alleged against Bell. And this is where the first twist in the case came in. Number three, guilty plea. We say that because in a twist, Bell entered a guilty plea for the two charges put against him. Usually celebs like Bell will fight to the bitter end in order to get clear of the charges against them. And yet that's not what happened here. There was a reason for that as we'll show you a bit later. But since he pleaded guilty, that meant he could have gotten a lot of punishment, right? Indeed, that is the case. As attempted child in is a fourth degree felony. It carries a maximum sentence of anywhere between 6 to 18 months in prison and or a fine of up to $5,000. Um, although I love and would love to, um, I've never moved to Mexico. I, I've never been a resident or a citizen of Mexico. I don't have a Mexican passport. Disseminating matter harmful to juveniles is a first degree misdemeanor. It carries a max sentence of six months in county jail and or a fine of up to $1,000. Judge Timothy McCormick told Bell that prison time is not mandatory. But if he does go to prison, he'd be subjected to a discretionary period of three years post-release control after the point of being released. So that was something no one really saw coming. Bell was asked multiple times in court by the judge if he understood the consequences of going and pleading guilty to these counts and the prison time and aftermath he could face. Bell said he understood every time. So clearly, he was aware that this was the right path to go on for one reason or another. But what is curious is that his attorney stated that he would reveal at sentencing why he made this plea. I know that this has moved very quickly for you, but for, for me, it's been a three-year thorough investigation into um, every false claim that, that has been made. And, and it's not me telling you. Which meant that he had something planned that many were not ready for. And that was indeed prophetic. Because when the verdict did come out, it was anything but satisfying if you were looking for true justice. Number two, verdict, probation. Because while we outlined all the possible things Drake Bell could have gotten by pleading guilty, all he got was probation. Specifically, he received two years of probation to be supervised in California where he lives, plus 200 hours of community service. If he doesn't keep his nose clean, he could face up to one year in prison on the felony charge of attempted children. DB took the punishment in stride, saying he accepted it, while also apologizing, explaining that it wasn't his intention to do harm, but that he's sorry to the girl and anyone else he hurt over this matter. The woman, however, said he'd done irreparable harm, issuing a victim impact statement via Zoom and detailing what exactly this is all about. The claims are false, but the state of Ohio has proven uh, the claims to be false. She claimed they began exchanging messages online in 2017 when she was 15, which she says eventually turned sexual in nature and included photos. She says this all happened over IG and Snap. She went on to allege that she attended a concert of his back then and that afterward he took her backstage to be alone, where she claims she performed 
on him. And yet, despite clear evidence that he had done something wrong and his own guilty plea, which the court should have known was something odd, he got probation. Just as sadly, this tale is not over yet, as Drake had some things to say recently about it. Number one, the new apology. As in all things, it's not just about the verdict, but what happens after it that truly showcases what a person feels, especially if they were the one who got off easy. Many online weren't happy about that situation at all. One fan noted that it shouldn't matter that he willingly admitted to being guilty. If he was found guilty, he should have gotten jail time, but he didn't. He got a slap on the wrist and the court made it clear that he was more important than the victim. If these claims were remotely true, my situation would be very different. I would not be here at home with my wife. But that being said, I'm, I'm not perfect. Which many see as incredibly wrong. Another element to this is how Drake Bell reacted after the events of the sentencing. It was reported that less than an hour after his virtual court appearance, Bell took to Instagram Live, where fans may have assumed he'd speak out about the case. However, he instead sat with his son in his lap as he played the piano and sang to him and the camera. And when he did speak on the case, it wasn't exactly the most convincing of things in terms of the remorse and owning up to what had happened. In response to the various rumors that are incorrect, I've been married for almost three years and we're blessed to be the parents of a wonderful son. A translation of Bell's post at the time reads, Thank you very much to all my fans around the world for your good wishes. He added in the tweet. And I, I made, made mistakes. I, I responded to a fan whose age I didn't know. Yet when I became aware of their age, you know, all conversation and communication stopped. This was clearly a case where Drake was trying to change the topic of conversation by stating that because he was a father and husband, that he could not have done these terrible things that the victim alleged. Because we all know, that's how life works, right? Adding to this madness in many ways was the fact that Drake went and issued a new apology and it hit some very familiar beats. I responded to a fan whose age I didn't know. The one time Drake and Josh Starr says in his first non-courtroom public response to the case. When I became aware of their age, all conversation and communication stopped. He added that the fan continued to come to shows and pay for meet and greets and that he did not know that the person he met on those occasions was the same one he had ceased communicating with online. In the video, Bell states that there were actual images, nothing physical between himself and the accuser. Irresponsible text messages. I, uh, there was, I, I want to make clear that there were no images, um, nothing physical between me and this individual. I was not charged with anything physical. physical. I was not charged with anything physical, he says. I was not charged with the dissemination of photographs or images or anything like that. This is strictly over text messages. Bell acknowledges in the video that his behavior was reckless and irresponsible. He also went into why he took the plea deal and pleaded guilty. When I was presented with a plea deal because of the messages, Bell says in the video, I felt that it was the best way to get this over quickly and for everybody involved to be able to move on and for me to get back to doing what I love, and that's making music for you. Except we know that's bogus because he wasn't worried about his fans, he was worried about himself, and this seems to imply there was more going on than we realized. Drake Bell may have gotten lucky with this case, but if he steps even one toe out of line again, he'll likely not be met with the same kindness as he was in this court case. Um, I was not charged with uh, disseminating of photographs or images or anything like that. Uh, this is strictly over text messages. And there you have it everyone, a look at the case of Drake Bell and how he skated by on the charges put onto him and how he's still saying he's innocent and trying to paint the public favor his way. Can you believe that he's trying to be coy about this still? Do you think that his actions will catch up to him eventually? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.